Merry Christmas, happy holidays. It's cold out here. As you can see, I'm on vacation. Thought this would be a good time to make Christmas videos. Talk about, dang, what are we talking about? One of the greatest Christmas movies ever made. And one of the only Christmas movies in Japan, because I mean, Japan doesn't really celebrate Christmas like that. I am Santa. No, you're not. Santa Claus isn't Asian. It's cold out here. It's like 50, was it Justin? 50, 50 something degrees? Something like that. <laughs> Yeah, same story. It's, it's, it's cold out here, but um, but it is a uh, it is a blessing that I can be here because nobody, um, not a lot of people in the world are as fortunate like the people we're going to be talking about today. Tokyo Godfathers. Tokyo Godfathers is about three homeless people: Gin, Miyuki, and Hana, and they find a baby in a trash can on Christmas, and the whole movie is centered around them trying to get the baby back to its rightful parents. And there's a whole lot of twists and turns. Don't really want to spoil it because I think you all should go watch it. I think it's a very safe watch and clean. Um, uh, one of the things that I like about this movie is how different it is. I think a lot of the things that make it special and unique are involved in the most unlikely people doing something really good on Christmas. Because I think that happens a lot with us and in the Bible. Like I said, there's not a lot of people that are fortunate, you know, enough to be in a position where I am in, where I could spend time with my family on the beach. And these are some of those people. But people like Gin, Hana, and Miyuki, the three homeless people, they perform, they, they go through this, these nights or these days. They're trying to find out who the parents are of this child and they get treated like homeless people would. All right, let's ring in the new year by taking out the trash. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna fit. They're not the best people. They, oft they often have complicated pasts, like many of us do. They have a lot of shortcomings, like many of us do. But th isn't that how God uses the most unlikely people in the Bible to do a lot of his work? They're doing something very beautiful, very nice, very kind and giving on Christmas, despite having very little. And so many people in the Bible, including the nativity story, it's just like that. And this Christmas, and next Christmas, and the Christmases to come, I think you should all reflect on how you can give back, despite being in unlikely situations. Because no matter where you are in life, you can always give back. Happy holidays. Ready?